Let's look at how to create ceilings on a slope plane using the USG Ceiling Technics Revit plugins place on work plane function. In this example, we want to create a lobby ceiling with a sloped plane. We have already completed half of the lobby ceiling and are now going to finish the other half. First, make sure you've created your reference planes. These reference planes are what USG Ceiling Technics uses to populate its work planes, and in this case, determines the angle of our sloped ceiling. Here we have a reference plane with the very technical name of bottom that we'll use when we're ready to place our cassettes. With our bars, baffles, and slats family selected, we'll click Create Ceiling so we can choose our cassette type and make any changes to finish or acoustical properties. Because we're attaching this to a work plane, we'll leave the offset at zero. Then click Choose Ceiling. Next, we'll draw our boundary lines according to our design. Click the green check mark, and we're ready to place our first cassette, which is also our anchor component. Here we'll select Place on Work Plane, and then select our reference plane, Bottom. Now we're ready to place our anchor component. The first cassette will dictate where the pattern and array starts from. In this case, we're going to start here to line them up with the existing ceiling cassettes. You can tell by the small square at the end here that we're on a different angle from the existing cassettes. We'll hit escape twice to place the cassette. Next, we'll choose our fill type. In this example, we'll use the same rectangular pattern that we used to make the other half of the ceiling, making any edits to the fill type settings per our design. Then we'll hit generate ceiling and let the plugin work its magic. The Technics plugin automatically trimmed and filled the rest of our boundary area, bringing our sloped plane design to life. Thanks USG Ceiling Technics!